Hello guys and welcome back to my guide which will show you how to get various industrial burritos with exclusive colors. Let's -a go! To get this special vehicle you need to be on a mission called Father Son which is marked on a map as M letter and can be found at Michael's Yard, few miles northwest from downtown. This is also the first mission in the game you can start as Michael. None of this works with mission replay. In order to get those burrito vans, you must start the mission and proceed to the first yellow dot as normal. Burritos that you want to obtain will be parked right across the highway where your yacht is, but they will only spawn if you move your camera away for a second. Oh, there, there, there if you see those That's vans, try to steal them quickly the since the window to do this before yeah, the yacht we'll escapes is rather short. If you are inside the van, exit the mission once it fails. If you want another body color for your van, just drive this back to Michael's house and start the mission again. That's been stolen? Wow, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money and... Now, if you reach the parking lot again, you will notice new colors spawning on this very same location. For some odd reasons, using normal mission retry will never change van's colors, so you have to steal them using longer way. This task is not that difficult to pull off, but what might be difficult is understanding which vans can you even steal, since as we know, nothing is too easy in GTA 5 and even though those vans cannot be modified in Los Santos Customs, still, some burritos are not even special which you find there. Let me explain the background of burritos to make it easier to understand. So if you look at those colors which spawn in this mission, you may notice these same tones are listed as traffic defaults in GDA Wiki. Or if you don't notice, well, they are actually traffic defaults. What I am actually showing you in this video are traffic defaults which are special. And the reason why is that so is Rockstar. So this industrial burrito model can spawn with four possible liveries. Atomic, Fart Gas, McGill Olsen, and Los Santos Department Water and Power. And those seven traffic defaults spawn with Los Santos Department Water and Power livery only. So if you see that livery, do not steal it. This van is never special regardless of the color. However, this is not the case for other three liveries. You see, Atomic can only spawn on blue color in free roam. Other towns are cut from the game. So if you see Atomic in the parking lot, which is not blue, it's special. Fart gas is scripted to only spawn on red color in free roam. Which means any fart gas van which is not red is special. And McChill Olsen can only be found in metallic white color from free roam. Which means if you see something other than metallic white in the mission, you can steal it because it's special. That's a bit more difficult since there is also a worn white color available which is special for Mac Jill Olsen, however it's near impossible to separate this from shitty metallic white variant. So I suggest avoiding worn white Mac Jill Olsen van. If you really want this though, then metallic one reflects light, meanwhile worn white doesn't. So it is actually possible to separate them, but I do not suggest killing your brain with this. Just avoid white Mac Jill red fart gas, blue atomic and any Los Santos department water and power vans and you're good. As you can see from the video I got a grey fart gas livery van which is special since it's well fart gas first of all and it's not red. This is not too complicated but you actually do have like 50-50 chance to obtain literal shit 
if you don't listen to me, so be careful. If you have noticed, one of such burritos is scripted to spawn on Miriam Turner overpass later in the mission, but I consider those pointless to get. They are far away from Michael's house and just one spawns instead of two like in the parking lot. If you have the van, just store this to garage, drive away and back so it becomes saved and after it you can do whatever you wish with this. If you think obtaining those burritos that early in the game or the method is too hard, then another instance to get all those burritos will also come later in the game. In the mission Eye in the Sky. For the end of this video I would rate this vehicle easy to get. Although the mystery behind the coding of colors exists, it does not make the already easy method to get this van any more difficult. Thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video please consider subscribing and hitting the like button and also make sure to click that notification bell to hear about everything related to GTA 5 special vehicles.